so I, I fell asleep in Buckhead Park and well it's not Buckhead Park it's actually named something else and I had a dream that I was a twin I saw my sister's baby daddy Vince and he was in a car and he um he kind of just drove off he saw me he was like well I would let you ride with me and he kind of just drove off and um I was out there by myself and I ended up going into someone's home and I came out of their home and I was a little upset and when I came out of the home I had this scarf on my head and it was kind of tied how it was this morning like covering that and um there was a twin, um, my identical twin, myself, and I was identical, and I went up to her, and she held out her hand, and I held my hand, and we held each other's hand. She was on that side of me, and we held each other's hand, and we started walking together, smiling. When, when, when we held hands, there was glitter on our thumbs, like... Um, nail polish glitter and stuff and I turned to her and she turned to me and smiled and then I smiled and we just kept walking together and we both had two umbrellas in our hands I had a pink umbrella and a blue umbrella and she had a pink umbrella and a blue umbrella and there was someone that was after us or after me, there was someone, but in the vision, there was someone, there were people after us. And so um, we made it into this parking lot, and when we got in the parking lot, there were two more twins of myself, and they were identical to me, and they had their hair, they had on the blue, I think, mommy dress I had on, or some sort of different outfit than me and the first twin had on. And they were standing in the parking lot with like a part in the hair and two little ponytails like my afro hair, but it was well kept. And um, they were waiting for us. And I was like, give her the blue umbrella. And I gave my twin the blue umbrella and she gave the other twin the blue umbrella and I woke up. And before, as I was waking up, I was sweating from being asleep under the sun. And I heard my voice, myself saying, I gotta tell the truth about Bruce White. He's trying to keep me from my kids forever. I gotta keep, tell the truth about um, Bruce White. This man that's trying to keep me from my children, he's trying to, you know, it was something very wicked about this man um, and I, I told you about him calling me earlier and every time I'm working on the evidence about my case and I'm talking about it on social media he's always hurrying up and trying to call me and get me to come somewhere to meet him and he's trying to prostitute me and that's not who I am and I need to tell the truth about this man according to my spirit and the Holy Spirit. And um, it was a part of the sex trafficking that they did to me from Marcus Mitchell's home. And it's like they just used this man to just throw me completely out on these streets and make it seem like I was some whore. And I was come here to get into a shelter of a mother telling them that I was pregnant and they stayed for me to be out of the shelter tried to sex traffic me to several different men and had a man named Marcus Mitchell come and pick me up and take me to his home at Luther Landing, which was a staged apartment. And they had tried to get him to do things to me in the apartment. And they didn't want me to be in an environment where they knew that I was pregnant. They knew about me trying to get my son back. They were abused. It's like they just kept trying to paint the narrative out as she's some bum prostitute homeless woman and that's not who I am you can't try to make a person out to be what you want them to be so you can steal their children and so to lie about my pregnancy and then to try to have all these different people staging me outside on the streets like I'm homeless and I can't get my son and like you can steal my kids out of my womb so Marcus Mitchell staged for me to have to be out of Luther Landon apartments he said that he wanted to be my boyfriend turns out someone put him up to trying to 
um, paint me out as a homeless, no good person instead of a woman who came to Atlanta to get in the shelter and get some legal help as far as not being given medical care for my pregnancy. So he staged for me to be out of Luther Landing Apartments and I was homeless making videos like, oh yeah, they keep trying to stage to have me outside on the streets and you know, because someone was putting everybody up to this. And so all of a sudden they had a man named Bruce White come and pick me up um, when I was on my way to the West End to buy me an outfit. And he offered to pay for my outfits and then he asked me if I wanted to go to his hotel with him. And I didn't have anywhere to spend the night, so I was like, okay. And so I was recording all of this on my other channel that they erased. And I was telling my whereabouts, how the men were treating me. On the videos, the men were forcing me to have sex with them. And people were putting them up to this, and that sex trafficking of a pregnant woman that came here to be in a shelter, where you staged to have me out of a shelter. So, Bruce White, I did not have sex with him the first night. There it was no exchange for monies or anything like that. Um, and I was telling people that, you know, there was no exchange for money. He started to get very hostile because I was not having sex with him. Um, I ended up having sex with him one night and he started acting like I had to do it all the time. And so he was paying for my nails, he was paying for my hair, he was buying me wigs, he was, you know, like just buying me things. And then he was getting, he got a, he was leaving me in the motel room and saying he was going to work. So being that I was homeless, of course I would stay there. And I didn't like the fact that he started trying to treat me like I had to have sex with him. And I was making videos saying that he was trying to make it seem like I had to have sex with him. And so um, then he got a motel on Camp Creek Parkway for a week and said that I could stay at the motel with him for the week. And after that, like he was leaving, he took the key and was going to work. And I had food stamps to go and get food. And he was leaving me inside of the motel room without the key and I was going to get food anyway and then he was telling me oh be naked for me in the room and I was telling everybody how he was treating me um he was trying to mentally abuse me inside of the room like oh I'll be there in a little bit and then did not show up and stayed the night out and I got upset because you know, you don't have to lie to me. You don't have to try to leave me in a room without a key to try to control me. Like, I can't go somewhere. So I would just leave the room cracked and go and get the food that I needed. And I would not allow this male to starve me inside of that motel room. And I ended up leaving um, Bruce White's. I ended up leaving that motel room. And I did not stay the full week because he was trying to be abusive towards me. And this man came and swarmed up on me when I was going to the store from Bruce White from the room and said that he would get me a room somewhere else. And he got me a room at the In Town Suites and his name was Deshaun Mapp. And he was trying to force me. I told Deshaun, I said, I want to leave here because I don't want to be forced to have sex. Um, I said, I met this man and I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to be with somebody that's forcing me to have sex. And so um, I didn't tell Bruce that I was pregnant because I was very small and I told Marcus Mitchell that I was pregnant and he was over there stage and stuff. Everybody who I told that I was pregnant in their home, they were trying to have me in their home and pretending like they didn't know I was pregnant. And so I was like, I'm just not going to tell him. But the man, Deshaun Mapp, I told him that I didn't want nobody forcing me to have sex. So he tried to force me to have sex with him as soon as he got me to the in-town suites. Um, and I think that was the one on Piedmont. I'm not exactly sure. But I was making videos as well and exposing him because he was trying to have sex with me very, very hard. And I know that the African-American men know that I'm pregnant and they were put up to trying to rape me. Um, while pregnant and harm this child or harm my baby and so um, I told him to stop I'm not gonna let you hurt me and he got mad and left me in the room for over a week um, well he left me in the room by myself for a week and he didn't leave us with any food um, and I had to find ways to get food so they were trying to rape me and starve me to pay me out to be a prostitute and a homeless person and putting me out of shelters and letting me and rape me in Atlanta and starve me, tried to starve me um, 
to paint the picture out for the white people like oh I was a bad mother when Austin Matter was abusing me and he was raping me and hitting me so it's very sad for black men to come in and actually attempt to rape me and starve me while pregnant just so that you can cover up for whites um so anyway um Bruce White contacted me while I was at the In Town Suites and was saying that he wanted to spend time with me and Deshaun Mapp left me there hungry with no food. And Bruce White was like, oh, well, I'll give you money. Like, I'll pay you for your time. So he started trying to make it seem like I was a prostitute now. He started trying to make it seem like the only reason why he was contacting me was for sex and things like that. And so um, I actually uh, went to see him one time and I talked to him on the phone that night and I said, no, if you can't be a man in my life and actually be there for me, then I don't want to have sex with you. And he agreed to let me stay with him. And so that night I packed up my bag from the in-town suites where um, Deshaun Mapp had me and um, I left the hotel, which still was paid up for a week and I didn't stay the entire time. I went with Bruce Mapp. I mean, not Bruce Mapp, but Bruce White. And so when I went with Bruce, Bruce had sex with me. And then the next morning he was like, oh, I'm going to drop you back off. I said, no, that's not what we agreed to. We agreed that uh, we were going to, uh, that you were going to be that man in my life if I was going to be giving you my body. And then so... I had a vision of a baby in an incubator and something about Bruce and my suitcase. And I had a suitcase and um, well, I had bags. And Bruce was like, well, I'm going to drop you back off. So he ended up dropping me back off at the in town suite. So he basically lied to me. And then he gave me money and dropped me off. So now that's where he was beginning to pay me out as a prostitute. And I asked him not to do that. And they're being very deceitful, very deceptive about how they're trying to sex traffic a pregnant black woman for white America. Because white America stole my son when Austin John Metter was abusing me. And white America starved me and my baby in a jail cell for 10 months and denied us medical care and continued to deny us medical care for two years. And the baby is still alive. So for any black male to be coming in trying to pull an operation to make a pregnant black woman look like a prostitute that was a great mom that's wrong and so um i i did get on him and i saved some text messages because i realized what he was trying to do so he dropped me off at the in town suites and several different black men kept trying to paint me out as a prostitute from then just all about uh, we won't help you unless you have sex with us and this has been a complete operation and then I guess they decided oh we're just gonna murder her because of how much evidence she actually had on us I had thousands of videos of them sex trafficking me that from the Salvation Army um, at 469 Marietta Street they were trying to sex traffic me in the shelter and outside of the shelter so for her to put me out because I would not fall for the traps in the shelter or outside the shelter was them forcing me to have to do it and they denied me into all the other shelters in Atlanta Georgia as well so um, Bruce White he was uh, contacting me after everybody stayed for me to be on the streets and I just I, I went through so many different instances of people abusing me um, while pregnant with this baby um, that he he they were trying to stage arrest out of like places where I would sit like out of malls and they were just trying to harm me and attack us all over Atlanta and Bruce called me one night after they tried to stage to have me arrested out, out of Dunwoody Perimeter Mall. And I was like, okay, well, so I can have somewhere to sleep. I'll go over there. And then he was forcing me to have sex and wouldn't let me stay. And saying that, um, oh, he, he had things to do. He'll come back and get me, and then he'll just give me money. So I guess that's how um, they were trying to pay me out to be a prostitute. So I was in Lenox Mall, and I started uh, putting out um, the evidence um, the blacks who terrorized my pregnancy, um, the black God said they were terrorists. So um, God, I, I, I said the black terrorists who terrorized my pregnancy, and it has up to 60 or 70 parts, a part one through part 70. That's how many blacks that they have had terrorizing my pregnancy since I was released from the Montgomery County Jail for white America. And so, Bruce White contacted me while I was in Lenox Mall and I was starving and everybody knew what was going on. And he started contacting me, asking me to come and meet him at H.E. Holmes train station. 
And so I said, no, you can come and get me. And then he was saying, oh, well, are you, you going to let me, you going to let me have sex with you? And he said he would give me money. And I said, why are you trying to speak with me as if I'm a prostitute? And I was like, if you want to spend time with me as a woman, that's fine. You know, and you know that I'm homeless and I'm, you know, I need help. So why are you trying to make it as if I'm a prostitute? And I saved the messages and I said, if you cannot come at me correctly, then you don't need to come at me at all because I'm not going to allow you to pay me out to be a prostitute. And then so... um he decided that he would not come and I stayed out here on the streets of Lenox and I had several different males um, that were trying to sex traffic me in this area and so uh, I was you know talking about um, some of the visions and stuff that I was having last night and I was uploading a video and about like some representation and you know just crazy visions that I had and Bruce White hit me up and was like you know hey and every time, like, I try to talk to him, it's always something fishy with these people. Like, they're going to meet and talking with other people, and, you know, they're not coming right away. They're not picking up the phone. It's very fishy. And so today he was like, hey. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, oh, I want to see you. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm still in the same area. I'm by Lennox Mall, and I'm not allowed on their property because the Lennox staff staged for me to not be able to come to their property for no reason, and I have videos of that. And I have several videos. I had several thousand, I will, I had like up to a thousand videos or more of these people pulling these operations trying to pay me out to be a prostitute um, for trying to get my child back from pedophiles and trying to get... Uh, and trying to get uh, medical care for my pregnancy. And so Bruce was like, oh, well, I'll come and get you. Let me run some errands. And, you know, those errands probably are going to be people just plotting on you with him. And so my phone ended up dying. And I, I got really sleepy. And I was like, I can't fall asleep in this McDonald's. So I'm going to go down here to this park um, in the middle, well, in Buckhead Village right here and fall asleep because they have homeless people out there. So, you know, it was a be beautiful sunny day. So I was like, let me go and lay out in the sun and take a nap. And that's when I had the vision of the twin, of me being a twin. And I had the vision of me speaking and saying, I have to tell the truth about this man, Bruce White. And I already was telling y'all a little bit before I fell asleep. And then I said, he's trying to keep me from my kids. And see, now I can see how that is because you're trying to pay me out to be a prostitute. Black men should have just helped us. People should have just helped us. And I actually have a lawsuit. So I can get my money one way or another. You don't have to help us, but you're not going to sex traffic me to keep from helping me that is 